Welcome back. You still are very much with Afternoon Express here on S3. I haven't said this word in a long time, and that's because I haven't seen anything like it. An extravaganza. <laughs> Yebo, yebo, yebo. That is exactly what we are dishing up today. That is what is on the menu. And helping us do so is none other than foodie extraordinaire, Karen Dudley. Now we're ready for our next recipe now. Okay, guys, I love broccoli. You said so earlier. I yeah. love a brassica. There's not a brassica that I don't love. Me too. And broccoli, it's green, it's wonderful, and we're going to do such cool things with them right now. Mm -hmm. The first set we're going to do a broccoli tonato. Tonato is a tuna caper mayonnaise. A combination of This things. is a great salad if you want to impress people. Again. Or just when you just want to, you know, make things look beautiful. This and does so, look beautiful. Look how beautiful mm. it is. So we start with a puddle of tonato sauce, which is a tuna caper mayonnaise, which I have tuna right here. Tuna caper mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Okay. Oh, wow. And we're going to spread them out in this So one. then how does that elevate Look, a little the puddle. A how little does... puddle. A the little. Somehow, the tuna and the broccoli are really good together. It just is. How it did just you discover is. that? And because I did it many times, like... and I took this and I dipped this in this sauce many times, and I understood how cool that was. But not only that, okay. can I tell you, uh -huh. there are other few little secret things that ah. I'm going to use um, throughout my book. Mm. And one of the things I'm going to add in this side, and I, I'm so happy to share with you, and, and you're going to be so happy about, I... is that I have this wonderful stuff. It's a fried caper. So capers are like, please have one. I love it. It's like, I'm they're like it. salty, mm. salty bits of, 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 of briny crack. Mm. And so I'm going to, look how beautiful it looks. I'm going to add this to there. And that's so easy to put together. So easy. We fry the capers with a little bit of um, corn flour and make them super crispy. Look at all this divine green. Tabsy, how are you so finding appealing? that um, crackled caper? Yeah, but it, it tastes like chicken, funny enough. Wow. It tastes like, I'm, I mean, if you were looking for like some sort of a chicken substitute and you were into bright, let's say fried chicken before, mm. but you've stopped. Where's my salt? This is it. Yes, and so they are salty, mm. but we do actually need some molten salt. Please, love So, uh, oh. Tabzi, oh, is that, that maybe the salt? No? No, no, no that's I'll something else. And so, look, we've got different kinds of broccoli. We've yeah. got some edamame beans because I love they're just so bean. nice. That, that's what I'm going to so snack on. They're so nice. Always a little bit of black pepper because mm. a broccoli loves a black pepper. And I'm going to add a tiny bit of olive oil as well just to give a little glisten. Um, how beautiful is that? Wow. Sometimes I add another dressing at this point, but I'm not going to do that today. Mm. Here's a little bit of rocket to make it look super sexy yeah. and fresh and delicious. You don't stop, eh? Look at that. Oh, on this side we have a little bit. There we go. Malt and salt. Malt and salt, always seasoning generously. Mm. Um, we don't want people to feel like they've been hard done by. When yeah. would you serve this, typically? I would serve this for a lunch. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's substantial enough to be with a lunch and, and maybe some really good bread to sort of ah, okay. get all that sauce together mm. um, with a nice, with other salads around it. Mm. It could be a starter for something. Great lunch. My family love this. We just add potatoes. Look, it adds a beautiful punch of colour. Yeah, Pickle. and with the beautiful and guys. with the broccoli's, I find like during the festive season, I'm sure so many of us experience this. They overcook broccoli. Yes. So let's hear it from the professionals. Yes. How did you prepare that broccoli? Okay, <laughs> so broccoli, a deep pot of water brought to the boil. Mm. Broccoli goes into the pot of water mm -hmm. for like three to four minutes and no longer. Gets scooped out with a, with a, with a, with a slotted spoon, a, a holy spoon. Yes. <laughs> and gets put into cold water, like yes. a bath, preferably a bath of ice water. Shock and it. that arrests, arrests the cooking process. Mm. Okay. It goes, it, it stops it and keeps the green, because you want the green. It's about That's the always green. what goes wrong, is people yeah. overcook the broccoli. Yeah. Okay, so well, you're looking at three, four minutes, guys, tops. There's nothing worse than seeing... Three, four minutes, you tops. You pouring that beautiful green water into the sink, yeah. and there goes all the nutrients. Yes. Yeah. And it's kind of a bit smelly. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. I, it's so true. Shall we move? And on, on? my side, Wait, yes. What am I doing? Swiftly you to your side. No, before you Swiftly. move, I've yeah, got yeah, to tell yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to thank you for it because, Karen, this is fantastic. This are you is getting very that? Healthy... Are you getting how good that is? Yes, it's very healthy, but it tastes so good. That yeah. zest yeah. of what is the zestiness coming from? It's from the lemon. Okay, the cool. lemon and and the salty brininess of the of the capers are amazing. Tuna is nice yeah. and fantastic. You're going to. Just chop these a little bit, gotcha. not too much. They're a little bit hot, so just be careful. Mm. Tabsy, can I please have a knife? What is that that we're chopping up like this? Those are some almonds. Mm. They're actually some like blanche. I oh, no no, you need a better knife, guys. A better guys, knife. Guys, the right tool. Da -da 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 -da. The right tool. 
I know. <laughs> this one is for tomatoes. Gotcha. That one is for choppy choppy. Yes. Okay, so we're learning more than just how to bring the recipe mm -hmm. together. It's also the, Guys, the equipment is just the right tools. tools. Can we just have a moment for the right Tell tools? Tell us about the right tools. A sharp knife. Yeah, yeah. Don't it's mm. it's dangerous to work with a blunt knife. You need a sharp knife. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And so sharp knives very important whether they be small or big. Mm. Absolutely critical. Now I'm getting this guy knife. Oops, going. Wrong is this mind. enough? I know you're just kind of going yeah, rustic yeah, yeah. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. I prefer, another little hack I have to tell you, mm. I prefer doing my um, nuts in an oven because oh, okay. you get a much better, rounder, sort of whole thing. Is there Struggling a, a little bit with my thing here. Struggling. Okay, we need to fix Struggling. this Struggling, we need to fix that guy there. Or maybe we just do this. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. You know what? It's such a calm chaos with Karen. It's beautiful. Just the flair with which she moves, even when she's not so sure about what's happening. I love Absolutely. it. But this recipe is on afternoonexpress.co.za. Yeah. Is there an easier way? Look of how good that up, looks. Karen? No, no, this look, you're doing very well. I'm very that's, proud that's of you. That's the only way. Very proud of you. <laughs> so now we're going to make a warm broccoli spoon salad. And I call it a spoon salad because literally, it's hard to even get it to the plate. It's so delicious, you want to eat it with a spoon. So it's not going to get to the table. Uh, yeah. We're going to find out to see. <laughs> Will it even reach the table, Emma? Mm. Um, here's some oil. Find out next. Here's some garlic. <laughs> now, you don't want to burn the garlic, so okay. you're going to, going to move quite quickly. Um, and we're just kind of letting it get a little bit golden. Um, in the oil. Okay. I'm using um, not an olive oil here because I don't want the, the, the flavor of the oil to um, be affected. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm putting in some chaat masala. Chaat masala is amazing because it has like a sour mango mm. powder in it yeah. that is very Indian Karen, and very delicious. you said you're not using uh, olive oil. What oil would be the most ideal? Um, so I'm just using sunflower oil here in this instance. I mean, you could use olive oil, but um, I'm just using a, a regular okay. oil. All right. Stunning. Okay. And I'm going to add some of these chopped dates. So now, so think we've got sweetness. spicy. We've got spiciness. We've got sweetness. It's not biltong, because, I mean, I saw that earlier. I no, said, no, no. Adding biltong. It's not biltong, no, it's guys. Dead. It's not biltong. I mean, for someone like myself, who's always looking for those healthy alternatives mm. um, from the white sugars and yeah. the processed foods, yeah. this is something extraordinary. I mean, yeah. Tabsy has already explained that I love myself some broccoli. Tender stem broccoli, normal broccoli. Give it to me. Serve it up green, baby. Yes. I am so obsessed with it. So this is I'm an interesting so way. You, you're my woman. You're yeah, my woman on the broccoli. <laughs> I have a broccoli sister. Right there. there it's sisters in broccoli. Sisters in broccoli. <laughs> oh, you don't so come now, across that. You often are going to love this, but now we do need our salt again. Where's our salt? Here we go. There we go. Oh, it smells. Can you smell how Phenomenal. It smells Can like Ukoko's smell? kitchen. It's yep. like Winnie. That masala is uh -huh. definitely coming through. And now we've got some almonds for a bit of crunch. Always a bit of texture, see? So a bit of freshness, a bit of flavor, Lots a of bit flavor. of crunch. Definitely spammy, not spammy. making its way to the dining table. <laughs> Definitely not. I want a little bit more crunch in here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, please, I mm -hmm. mean... Are we, are we going romantic with this one? Once are we going to go romantic? Let me give you a baby taste. Next thing, I'm going to overwhelm you, Tabzi. <laughs> and I want your honest <laughs> opinion. That's good. That's good. <laughs> hot, hot. Lovely. That's so um, good. I mean, come on. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Winning. Oh. So, um, what do we have Oh, this is a little bit of honey. Honey, oh, sweetness. sorry, we missed on the honey, honey tabzi. Sweetness. But it's fine. Um, so now we've got sweet, it we've got sweetness, fresh, we've got spice. It's filling too. Mm. How scrummy is that? Beautiful. Also a little glisten. Mm. You have done phenomenally. If you were to give one top tip to get this recipe right, one top tip, what would it be? Well, be careful with your blanching of your broccoli. You want super green broccoli. Yeah. And you want to toast your almonds well and don't let them burn. To get your hands on this recipe, head over to afternoonexpress.co.za and stay tuned because after the break, Karen will be making her five spice chicken and pork meatballs with a deeply roasted sesame sauce. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs>